Hello and welcome my friends to a very special video uh, presenting an old uh, custom map that I was making based on Castlevania. Now originally I made a recreation of the first NES game of Castlevania and I completed it with enemies, bosses and all that stuff. However, for some reason my map did not gain attention for whatever means that happened. And I noticed other people who also made Castlevania related maps uh, advancing in that attention and you know in fame. So unfortunately I started to get this motivated and then I noticed DJ Nario which I mentioned before uh, made uh, almost the same thing although his, uh, his recreation of the 2D Castlevania was much more accurate since he literally made it like if it was a 2D game. In which what I did, I made it as an adventure map. For some reason, uh, mine did not uh, went viral, and his did. Um, you know, I tried not to be unfair to think about it that way. And most likely was because he had a lot of support. People started sharing the video and expanded very far and wide. So uh, at the peak of my custom map, when I, I started to get a lot of positive feedback when I ask reviews to view my map uh, they they asked me if uh, if I will be making a sequel or uh, you know like a second map and I told them that yes I would and uh, I started working on this so far I'm doing a quick flyby through everything what you saw earlier was the obsidian room that was the like the introduction stage just to view everything and then the first stage would begin here in the ruins of Castlevania most of the stages would be based between the Rondo of Blood, uh, Castlevania, I think it was actually, what is this, was it Rebirth? Oh no, no, Castlevania Bloodlines. Uh, this is the, the that stage from Castlevania Bloodlines. I believe it came out for the Sega Genesis. So Castlevania Ruins is based on that. It will, it will also be mixed between what I already did before on my old custom map and mix those together so the story takes place a couple years later after you defeated Dracula uh, you as a Belmont which you are unique to yourself you are part of the Belmont clan would uh, have would start to feel sick you know almost like if you're dying so the people of Joba start telling you that uh, the wounds of Castlevania has started activated again something evil is coming again so they 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 ask you to go investigate since it might be a cure for your sickness so there you go off back into the battle so once you beat Castlevania ruins and discover more about the story what's wrong with you and what's happening around the world they ask you to visit the the boat which is this one there's there was a special cargo on the boat that needed to be delivered to the priest and hopes to calm this evil darkness you know all that cliche things <laughs> and help you feel better however the boat was attacked and now you must investigate what what is that that attacked them so you'll find mobs here now something else I wanted to plan for my map is to stop the the constant battle to switch it up some stages would be all about fighting some stages would be about finding a certain item to continue and advance and the last few stages would be about puzzles. So it will be a mix between that. Puzzles, investigation, and battle. Uh, the boat being one of them, it was investigation. Next up, after you go around the boat, discover more about the story, they ask you to make a choice. To either go into the mad forest, which is the one I'm on right now, or to go into Atlantis, which I'll be reviewing later. So this is one of the things I wanted to implement, a choice for you to either select one stage or the other. Depending on which stage you select first, uh, the story would change slightly and the certain events on the entire custom map would also be different. Sadly, I only was able to integrate one change from uh, selecting either stage and that would be the kind of weapons and the armors you would have. So one stage would give you better weapons but uh, no no ammunition or resources while the other stage will give you a lot of resources but no weapons so you will have to select whenever you want your character to have more offense or more defense another thing I want to implement is as soon as you beat certain stages if you explore you're able to activate checkpoints like this one 
Sadly, just like my motivation for this map, the whole place is frozen over. When uh, this map was converted into Anvil, uh, most of the terrain turned into Taiga, so everything is freezing over. And uh, in a way, it's uh, it's very depressing to see that that my custom map that I worked so hard on is now freezing over, literally, in game. So that more so expresses how I feel about this map <laughs> being forgotten. So I again, just like you saw before, I I was planning to add bosses again. Uh, I'm gonna slow down this clip because because this is one of the my favorite boss rooms that I created. Now this is supposed to be Camilla or was it Carmilla? Anyway, uh, it's a boss from the well. The first time I saw her was in the the Game Boy Advance game. I forgot what it was called, but well, I remember the main character. His name was Nathan Graves, uh, and you know I really love that game. It, it introduced me to Castlevania on on the portable versions, and that was one of my first games that I played, and I really loved it. So I, I added this little strategy here that you go to this room, get a key to go into this room in order for you to go up and activate like a TNT cannon to defeat Carmilla. Obviously with the darkness of the room there's going to be a lot of enemies to fight. So some, some form of strategy would take place. That and a ghast which would be textured as uh, another Carmilla would be a firing at you. <laughs> so the TNT cannon activates, it shoots off its cannon to this guy and it blows the whole skull. Now I'm, I was thinking how to do that because I want people to kind of be forced into entering these boss rooms. So on one of the chests it would need something you need to advance and, and another lever to like escape because as you see this is a one-way door. So something like that to force the player to actually try to beat Carmilla. So after that, uh, that's it. You, you, you continue part of the story. There's also someone you needed to save if you visited the town first uh, before entering the catacombs, and you know such things like that. So as the other option you had, which was Atlantis, which is the one I'm showing here. This one is also based on the Castlevania bloodlines. And I wanted to make it unique as you walk there. Considering other people have a stronger computer than mine, you know, than mine, and they will have at least normal distance, they will be able to see all these extra details that I added into the terrain. Um, sorry if you can hear a car alarm out there. <laughs> uh, most of these dragons and uh, the design of the Atlantis Palace, which I really love this scene. I I'm glad I'm I'm very happy that I managed to get here in time. <laughs> Um, most of these designs were taken from Planet Minecraft. Uh, I took some of the designs uh, after asking permission that I was going to use them for my custom map. And they said yes and I, I'm putting them into my map. This one uh, I I made it partially myself. I, I used inspiration from the Atlantis um, build from Planet Minecraft. Uh, I have all of, the, all of the files in my computer to properly credit them once this map is fully out. Now the idea behind that is because I noticed other custom apps did that. They took uh, like a build it model and made them their custom map, their adventure map. And they got uh, a lot of attention from that. Uh, the, my prime example is, uh, what is it, Manor of Madness? Or something about Mansion of Madness? I forgot. <laughs> uh, I'll put the annotation of the real custom map name. But uh, yeah, that, that was one of the maps that I noticed that... Uh, you know, that use a base model and he just changed everything on the inside outside added story added puzzles and made a, a very amazing custom map he does provide credit for such buildings so I decided to do the same now Atlantis would not be about you know would take a huge break from from finding or, or discovering things that you need to advance this would all be about puzzles or you know neat little tricks to get by so something I, I was thinking about is this ender pearl maze because every time you throw an ender pearl it teleports you so if you use that to your advantage you can make this really awesome maze which is the one I just showed you guys so after you beat the maze uh, you beat all the puzzles you meet this guy this is not a boss he actually tells you that uh, he's tired of this curse and that he reveals why is it that you that the Belmont feels sick aka you the player so 
uh, a, a last peek of the wheel Atlantis without being edited by me. Uh, the name of the person is in there, so I'll be able to fly in there and check it out. So that would be it. That's all I had. After you beat Atlantis, or well, act actually after you beat all three stages, uh, Mad Force and Atlantis, they'll tell you that there's a secret passage on the town. I can't remember which town I put it on. <laughs> But uh, that town will lead you to the next uh, stage, which would, be, which would be stage 5. Now, unfortunately, I n did not continue this custom map because I lost motivation. Uh, and the video will even stop right now. So, this is just a video to show you guys what I was making with the second Castlevania map. Because some people did request me to do that. But uh, in the end, I lost motivation. I just felt that if I finish this map, it's not going to do any good. Just like my recreation map and it will be forgotten just like the the map itself is being frozen over however if you did found something interesting about this map and you are interested in playing this please leave a comment or any kind of support really uh, to motivate me to finish this map I'm not asking you to subscribe or you know to spread the links just leave a comment or a thumbs up that's b basically as as long as I see attention or interest and uh, in such a hard work that I'm putting into this but uh, overall uh, I'm talking too much now so I'm gonna end the clip here my name was Dick69 and until we meet again and thank you for watching take care and happy gaming Lates.